Hi, right, it's Build the Handyman. Today we're going to talk about uh, accessing the console on a newer direct drive washing machine. And so this happens to be a Kenmore Elite. Uh, heavy duty, quiet pack, three speed motor, ultra rinse system. And uh, I've already uh, loosened up the top console, but basically you can take a, uh, a flat scraper and then basically it goes in here and uh, pushes a tang inside there. And there's one on each side. And so once you push the tang in, you can see how the tang is right there. So you need to push it in here and then it's going to push it forward and then pull it up enough to, uh, to pull it out of the, it's going to push it up enough to pull it out of the groove there. And so many of these will have the schematic diagram inside, like this one. Um, so I wanted to show you a little trick that I've learned, a little disclaimer here. And so some of these models, Actually, this one doesn't have that electronic control for the uh, the temperature settings, but some of them, if they uh, won't let water in or uh, uh, don't run when you turn them on, it could be the switch. Uh, commonly, this style switch doesn't give too many problems. Uh, the newer style ones that are a little bit bigger and normally a, a brighter color will give you may give you a problem. And so, so, sometimes they can be bypassed um, temporarily to run the cold setting, but that's another uh, video. Anyway, what I wanted to show you is sometimes if your machine leaks, uh, this tube here, which is the uh, tube that comes from the bottom of the, uh, the, the barrel, and uh, it puts pressure in the line when the water fills up and then tells the sensor to turn the motor on. So if this tube comes loose, now this one's on here pretty tight. I've seen some that can be loose and they'll fall off. If this tube comes loose, your machine is, is going to leak. It'll start leaking out of this tube. Um, and so it will leak and it, and it won't come on, basically. So, and then what I do sometimes is just glue those. I take a little bit of E6000 and glue them back on. Um, don't glue them too tight in case you ever have to replace the switch. But basically, if you ever want to test your, uh, your agitation, you can run a separate hose. I've got, a, I've got an extra piece of hose here. Or you could put a straw on them. Sometimes I've used uh, uh, ink pens. I pull the uh, the center out and use that, and just hook it in there, and then kind of blow on the the tip there, and then you can you can hear it agitate. And if you look carefully, you can see it. So this one has a real good lid switch, so it's not going to really let us look at too much. But anyway, I do appliances repair here in Northern California, and uh, so if you need any repairs, uh, please give me a call, 707-643-8347, and I also have an appliance repair course on how to make money in the appliance repair business. Send $49.95 to Bills Enterprises, P.O. Box 7021, Eureka, California, 95502. And we'll send you the course on how to make money in the appliance business. Thanks.